On behalf of Cassidy and Travis, I'd like to thank each of you for being here tonight on this very special occasion. We're gathered here in the sight of God and you as witnesses to unite Cassidy and Travis in marriage. As followers of Jesus Christ, we believe marriage is an institution of God. In fact, it was actually the first human institution established by God. It was designed by Him and intended by Him to be an unbreakable union between a man and a woman in covenant for life. This is then not a ceremony created by human hands, but is a covenant that was created in the heart of God. As such, it should not be taken lightly. What we're about to do here tonight is very special and highly spiritual. It's special because this is the day you two have dreamed of for a long time. It's spiritual because somehow this evening, according to the Apostle Paul in the book of Ephesians, you two will become one flesh. Amazing. You look amazing. That is not what I expected, <laughs> but you look amazing. It's simple. It's beautiful. Do you see Mama's bill? I do. Or Mama's lace. Mama cried. <laughs> I bet she did. It looks so. That's why I didn't have a. I have a very plain dress. Yeah. It's amazing, <laughs> baby. Looks so pretty. So pretty. So proud of you. Thank you for all of this. This <laughs> <laughs> is the way it was meant to be. It is. It's the way it was. I love you. Love you too, love Daddy. You so much. Oh my goodness. The sweetie thing done growed up. <laughs> What you think? I think you are just beautiful. Simple. No, oh, it's lovely. Oh. <laughs> from her dress, her wedding dress. That came from hers. Yes. Okay, well, That's hey. why I needed a nanny to bring the mom's dress that day oh, okay. so I could get it all taken care of and put on my veil. So. Well, that is so beautiful, sweetie. Travis, take you, Cassidy. To be my wife and the love of my life. To be my wife and the love of my life. In the presence of God and my family and friends. In the presence of God and my family and friends. I vow to love and cherish you. I vow to love and cherish you. I commit to pursuing God with you. I commit to pursuing God with you. And supporting you in your goals and dreams. And supporting you in your goals and dreams. I promise to honor and respect you. I promise to honor and respect you. And be your constant partner. And be your constant partner. For as long as we both shall live. For as long as we both shall live. Cassidy, would you repeat after me? Look at me. 
<laughs> I, Cassidy, take you, Travis. I, Cassidy, take you, Travis. To be my husband and the love of my life. To be my husband and the love of my life. In the presence of God and my family and friends. In the presence of God and my family and friends. I vow to love and cherish you. I vow to love and cherish you. I commit to pursuing God with you. I commit to pursuing God with you. And supporting you in your goals and dreams. And supporting you in your goals and dreams. I promise to honor and respect you. I promise to honor and respect you. And be your constant partner. And to be your constant partner. For as long as we both shall live. For as long as we both shall live. And now because of the vows you have made, the gifts of love you have exchanged, and the love you have openly declared before your family and friends, by the authority vested in me as a minister of the gospel, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Travis, you may kiss your beautiful bride. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it is now my very happy privilege to present to you for the very first time ever and for the rest of their lives, Mr. and Mrs. Travis and Cassidy Wilhite. And I hope you never decide to set me free The way you're moving It's got me moving my own feet greatest feeling that I could ever dare to dream is you forever moving next to me let's not waste time or take this slow we've got miles behind us but miles to go so let's just break this down to the simplest truth Now, I'm not claiming to be an all-knowing relationship guru or anything like that, uh, but I believe that loyalty will pay dividends in your marriage. I just want to say thank you for being a relationship that I can truly look up to. The way that y'all love each other is so sweet and it's so pure. I have no doubt that their marriage will be a testament to God's goodness and ultimately God's glory because I have seen firsthand how each of you have chosen to build your dating relationship engagement around God as a center. You got a gem. She is precious. She is one of a kind <laughs> and we love her dearly and we love you too and we are so excited to have you a part of our family. So congratulations guys. Slow, we've got miles behind us, but miles to go. So let's just break this down to the simplest truth. You and I.